All right, everyone, welcome to our Monday yoga class. Today it's gonna to be a power practice, so a lot more heat, a lot more strength. Take it at your own pace as you need to, take the breaks that you need to, and most importantly, just listen to your body and what works best for you guys. We're gonna get started lying down on our backs today. And then just find a place that you're most comfortable. So whether you wanna hug your knees, take a happy baby, or extend the legs out, up to you. Just whatever you feel like falling into. Maybe that Shavasana, maybe Bhattakasana, bottoms of feet together, knees wide. Close your eyes and just start to deepen your breath. Take those big inhales and those big exhales. Really try to allow that breath to move through your whole body. Whenever you're ready to see if you can seal the lips and continue to breathe through the nose. Take a deep inhale. One big exhale out the mouth. And gently draw one and then the other knee in towards your chest. Give yourself a little bit of a hug, maybe a bit of a rock of the hip side to side or creating little circles with the pelvis. And then when you're ready to extend the legs up towards the ceiling. I like to point my feet, which is basically not a full extension. You're flexing the toes. Uh, feel free to flex, feel free to fully point. Just make sure that your feet are engaged here so your legs are working. We'll keep our arms down beside us. Glue your belly down towards the ground. So think about sucking your navel towards the ground. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, lower your right leg any amount. Bring it back to center. Inhale. Exhale, left leg lowers. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right leg. Inhale, lift. One more to the left. Exhale. Inhale, bring it to center. Hands behind the head. Elbows wide. Exhale. Take a full breath in here. Exhale, lift your head, lift your shoulders up off the ground. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, lower your right leg. Bring your right elbow to your left thigh. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Now keep going and start to find your own pace here. Maybe it's a little faster than mine. Maybe it's a little bit slower. And carry your breath with you though. Follow those inhales and those exhales. Try to open up your chest more towards the side when you rotate. And all we're gonna do is just keep going. A lot of the time, we can give up a little early or we just start thinking about the end when we're given a count. So instead, we're just gonna move. Not knowing when you're ending, who knows, maybe this is 30 minutes of this. It won't be, but just be open to that ability in your body to keep going. Use your breath, exhale on those twists. Two more here. Make sure you finish with your left elbow lifted. Come back to center, inhale. Nice, you guys. Exhale, hug your knees in towards your chest. Start to rock up and down the length of the spine and try to carry enough momentum to come to a forward fold at the top of the mat. Plant your feet, plant your hands, lift your hips up. Either feet underneath your hips or big toes touching. Hold on to opposite elbows, let your head relax here. A little bit of a bend in the knees. It can feel really nice to sway side to side, so feel free to find that movement or just find stillness. Make sure your head is fully relaxed and heavy so your neck is long. Relax your arms down, bend your knees a little bit deeper, right ball up to standing, step one vertebra at a time. At the very top here, shrug your shoulders up by the ears and rock them down the spine behind you. Tadasana Mountain Pose. Palms can turn forward, shoulders stay rolled back, neck long, crown of the head lifted and close your eyes. Spread out your ten toes and ground through your feet evenly. 
So not just pushing weight into the heels, maybe not just into the toes, but spread out, ground your feet. Allow yourself to arrive, welcome yourself onto your mat. One more breath, inhale. And one more breath out. Bring your hands to the tops of your thighs. So standing cat cow is what I call them. Slide your hands down towards your knees, bend your knees, arch your back, and inhale, look up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, tuck your tailbone underneath you, scoop your core in, slide your hands up the thighs, lengthen your legs, chin to chest. Roll the shoulders back, inhale, arch the back, bend your knees, slide your hands down. Nice and fluid here, exhale. Tuck everything in, round, roll it up. Three more, inhale, arch. Exhale, curl. Inhale, arch. Exhale, curl. Once more, inhale, arch. Exhale, curl it all the way up. Reach your hands up towards the sky. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold, melt it all the way down. Take a halfway lift with an inhale. And exhale, plant your hands, make your way to a plank. Step your feet back. Modification is to be on your knees here, and we just hold. Draw your navel in towards your spine. Breathe into the back body, spread out through your 10 fingers. And again, don't worry about when this is gonna end, just stay in it, breathe in it. Trust yourself to be here a little longer than you think you can. Take one more breath, inhale. Option to lower your knees or keep your knees lifted. With an exhale, bend your elbows lower just halfway down. Straighten your arms with an inhale back to your plank. Exhale, bend your elbows lower halfway down. Inhale, back up to plank. Once more, exhale, bend your elbows. Back to plank with an inhale, lower your knees, child's pose. Exhale, hips to heels. Either knees wide or knees together, up to you. One more breath. Curl all the way up through the spine. Take a deep inhale, rounding towards tabletop. Exhale, tuck your toes down. We're facing dog. Lift your hips up and back towards the sky. Take a little movement here if that feels good. Spread out through those 10 fingers. Lengthen your back body a little more. Send your tailbone up and back and settle into that down dog. Now really trying to find fluidity through and along the spine. Roll forward towards a plank pose. Tuck your chin in towards your chest and wave your body forward. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, bend your knees. Let your tailbone lift up and back to down dog. So undulating, moving through that back body, through that spine. Inhale, curl, roll forward. Exhale, down dog, tuck, lift up and back. Once more, inhale, curl forward. Exhale, guide it all the way back. Right leg to the sky, three-legged down dog. Take a deep inhale. Open up your hip, bend your knee nice and high. Three-legged down dog, inhale. Exhale, bring your knee towards your nose, round the body forward. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Exhale, knee towards the left elbow. See if you can tap your arm. Three-legged down dog, inhale. Exhale, knee taps your right tricep. Step your right foot on the outside of your right hand. Lower your left knee down towards the ground. Let your right toes lift if that feels nice. And today, let your right knee roll open towards the right. Left hand walks out to the left or left elbow comes to the ground. Right arm, open it up towards the sky. Let your chest open up, finding space here. Roll your shoulder blades back behind you. And let your hips settle deep and heavily towards the ground. Two breaths. Take one more inhale. And exhale, bring your right hand down towards the ground. Skandasana, side lunge. Come up to your hands. Tuck your left toes. Lift the back knee. Shift to the back of the mat. So you're turning your left toes to the back of the mat. Walk your hands over. Bend your left knee. Flex your right toes high. 
The depth of this is up to you. We just want to make sure that our right toes are lifted if you've settled down. Otherwise, the foot is fully planted and the hips are high. You can create a lot of strain on that inner knee if you're settling down with the foot down. So toes are up. Press your left knee more to the left. Your glutes are really engaged here to keep that external rotation. And you can either stay here with hands down or hands can come to heart center. Breathe here, roll your legs open just a little bit more. Find a little lift through that lower pelvis. Two breaths, one more inhale. Exhale, standing straddle forward fold. Plant your hands, turn your 10 toes to that side of the mat. Readjust your feet so that they're in alignment with one another. Halfway lift with an inhale. And exhale, fold, release your torso down. Think about the crown of the head settling towards the ground. And you can either hold onto your ankles, or if any of my friends, if you have a tripod headstand in your practice, you're welcome to go to that from here if you know how to do so safely. Lengthening, lifting the tailbone up and back towards the sky. Two breaths. Take one more breath. Come up halfway with an inhale. Hands to hips. Exhale, come all the way up. Turn your right toes towards the front of your mat. Right heel lines up with left arch of foot. Warrior two, bend your right knee, settle your weight down. Open the arms nice and wide. Keep the legs rolling open so those inner thighs finding a little more space here. And finding a lot of resistance, like something was pushing you in the opposite direction you're trying to go. Straighten your right leg, reach your right, both arms up towards the ceiling with an inhale. As you exhale, settle and press everything down towards the ground. Inhale, straighten and lift it high. And exhale, settle, press it low. Once more, inhale, lift. And exhale, settle, draw it all the way down. Straighten your right leg with an inhale. Exalted Trikonasana, right palm flips up to the sky. Left hand settles the left thigh. Reach to the back of your mat. Lengthen through that right side of the waist. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, both biceps by the ears, arms reach straight up to the sky. So think of this like a triangle pose. Hinge through your hips, keep your biceps beside the ears, reach your arms towards the front of your mat, like someone's pulling your fingertips to the front of your mat. Roll your chest open to the ceiling a little bit more. And breathe into your core, creating that deep hinge in that right hip. Legs are engaged and supported. Two breaths. Take one more. Exhale, bend your right knee, windmill hands to frame your right foot, step to the top of your mat. Halfway lift with an inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, Utkatasana, chair pose, sit your weight into your heels, lift your torso up, bicep can be beside the ears. Nice neutral spine, low belly drawing in, settling into however low you can go today. One more breath, inhale. Sink a little lower, exhale. Good, now straighten your legs, reach up, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift with an inhale. Make your way to plank, exhale. Core strong and steady. Two breaths. Take one more inhale. Exhale, down dog, lift your hips up and back. Lower your forearms towards the ground. So we're in a dolphin. And we're gonna try as hard as we can to keep our hands elbows width apart. Naturally, your hands are gonna wanna slide closer to one another, but we need them far apart where they were in your normal down dog. Push your palms into the ground. And we're gonna give this a go. Modification is just a normal chaparana instead. Look forward. Shift all of your weight forward. When you shift forward, we're gonna meet in a chaparana. So you're gonna lift your elbows up off the ground, bend them so you're halfway down. Exhale, upward facing dog, inhale. Exhale, back to dolphin or modification, down dog. Lower your elbows, lift your tailbone up and back. Look forward, inhale. Exhale, chaparana, shift forward, bend the elbows. Upward facing dog, inhale. Exhale, dolphin or down dog. Once more, look forward, inhale. Exhale, bend your elbow, shift forward. Upward facing dog, inhale. Exhale, down dog this time. On the top one. 
Left leg releases, three-legged inhale. Open up your hip, bend your left knee towards the sky, exhale. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Exhale, knee to nose, round forward. Three-legged down dog, inhale. Knee towards the right elbow, exhale. Three-legged down dog, inhale. Exhale, knee towards the left tricep, exhale. Step on the outside of your left hand lightly. Lower your right knee towards the ground. Again, see if it feels okay to lift your toes off the ground. Roll your knee a little bit to the left. Right hand walks to the right, either on hand or on elbow. Open your left arm towards the sky. Roll both shoulders back behind you. And settle into the hips. Two breaths. On your next inhale, both hands return towards the ground. Tuck your right toes, lift the back knee, walk your hands towards your right foot. So you're going to turn the right foot to the back of the mat, bend your right knee, side lunge, flex your left toes high. And again, the option is to stay lifted a little bit, foot grounded, or stay lifted a little, foot flex to the ceiling. Hands down or hands heart center, and then squeeze your glutes, engage them, roll your knees open a little bit more. So even though your hands may be helping support you here, we're finding that strength in our legs to stay wide open. Try to make sure that right foot is fully flat and grounded as well. We're not rolling in towards the inner arch. Two breaths. So one more, inhale. And as we exhale, walk yourself again to the center of the mat, standing straddle forward fold. So turn your 10 toes in, shuffle them even with one another. Come up halfway with an inhale, and then interlace hands behind your back. Exhale, fold it down towards the ground. Lift the arms up and off the back body. And everything relaxed. Just one more breath here, not too long for this one. Engage your core to come up halfway. Inhale, hands to hips. Exhale, come all the way up. Turn your left toes back towards the front of your mat. Bend your left knee. Settle into your warrior two. Legs are super strong. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Reach your arms up. Exhale, press everything down. Inhale, straighten that left leg. Lift up. Exhale, warrior two. Settle down. Once more, inhale, lift. Exhale, settle. Straighten your left leg. Inhale. Exalted triangle, exhale, left palm to the sky, lift and reach up and back. Engage your core to come back through center. Both arms reach to the ceiling, palms face one another. Wrap your ribs in towards one another, hinge through that left hip, push your hips to the back of the mat, extend your torso towards the front of your mat. Roll your chest open, engage your core. Reach and extend like someone's pulling your arms. One more inhale, exhale, bend your left knee, look to the ground, hands to the top of the mat. Pop to the ball of the right foot, take a giant step forward. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, Utkatasana chair pose, reach your hands towards the sky. This time, shuffle your feet about hips distance apart. Cactus your arms open, sit as low as you can. And as you inhale, push through the feet, straighten your legs, reach up to the ceiling. Exhale, sink back to that low chair. Inhale, straighten the legs, reach up. Keep going with your own breath pace here. So in my classes, when I get people to do this, it can either stay really slow, milking it out, or you can start to go a little faster, building that heat and that energy in the body. Whatever you feel like today. Wherever you're at, take one more breath here. Reach all the way up with an inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, plant your hands, step back towards your plank. Core nice and strong. Hold. The modification is to lower to your knees or to lower one elbow at a time. Otherwise, we're gonna try to lower both elbows 
at the same time to the ground. So bend your elbows back towards your belly button and start to lower your forearms to the ground. So we're gonna meet in a forearm plank in three, two, drop them down on one, pike your hips up to the sky, dolphin. Release your right leg, three-legged down dog. Open up your hip, bend your right knee to the sky. Try not to shift forward here, push your bum up and back. Left knee cap stays facing forward. You can be on those left toes. Take an inhale. Exhale, bring your right knee in towards your nose. Round your body and shift your body weight forward. Three-legged dolphin, extend the leg back. Inhale, knee towards the left elbow, exhale. Three-legged, inhale. Exhale, knee to your right tricep. Use a little bit of core. Push up onto your hands. Step on the outside of the right foot, right hand. There we go. Left leg is gonna stay super strong. Modification, lower your knee to the ground. Hug your right knee in against that right shoulder. Squeeze that left hip forward, pull the right hip back. Keep your hips elevated here. Bring your right hand behind your ankle and drop your shoulder underneath the knee. From there, you can stay as is, or you can bring your hands wider than your mat, pop your elbows to the sky, push your right shoulder forward as the right knee pulls back against the shoulder. So it's a really charged posture. So this is option two. Option three, right arm reaches behind the back for your right butt cheek. You can stay there, or option four, left arm behind the back, interlace hands. Pull that right hip back, push your chest forward. Two your breaths. So one more inhale. Option, hands come to the ground for support with an exhale or hands to heart center. Lift up and come back to your side lunge at the back of the mat, bend your left knee. Flex your right toes high. Left arm on the inner edge of your left thigh. Open your right arm towards the sky. Lean your heart open and back. Legs stay wide open as well. See your breaths. Goddess pose here. Walk your way to the middle of your mat. Bend both of your knees. Make sure your feet are in alignment here. Lift your chest up with an inhale. Exhale, settle nice and deeply into the legs. So your knees are pressing wide the whole time, sinking the seat down, not leaning forward with the chest, but staying stacked. Any of my dancers who are taking this will be very familiar with this. Basically like a plie. Two breaths. Sink a little lower. Straighten your legs, reach all the way up, inhale. Warrior two, right toes forward, left foot parallel to the short edge of the mat, exhale. Now this time, come to the ball of your right foot, so you're lifting that right heel up, and then sinking the seat down. All you're gonna do is lift up an inch, inhale, exhale, sink down. Inhale, lift up, exhale, sink down. One more, inhale up, exhale, sink down. Drop your right heel to the ground. Exalted warrior, left hand to left thigh, right leg stays bent, right arm reaches to the back of the mat, right side of the waist lengthening, take one more inhale, half moon, exhale, shoot the right hand to the top of the mat, lift your left leg up, roll the left hip open. Looking at the ground is going to be easier for your balance, you want to challenge that balance, look to the sky. Keep your right toenails facing directly forward. We have a tendency to rock our foot inwards and then reach your left arm to the sky. Flex your left foot, push your left foot into that wall behind you. Take one more inhale. Keep your left foot off the ground. Exhale, bend your right knee. Hands come to the top of the mat. Tuck your left knee into your nose. Contract into a little ball. Left foot stays lifted. Come to standing, left knee to chest. Hands to the sky, inhale. Exhale, eagle. Cross your left thigh on top of the right thigh like you're sitting cross-legged in a chair. Modification, the ball of your foot comes to the ground for support. Otherwise, feel free to double wrap your legs. Left arm underneath the right arm. Send your seat down, reach your arms up. Draw your shoulders down the back body. I'll give you the option today to stay lifted in the chest or to tuck yourself down onto your thighs. Two breaths. One more, exhale a little lower, exhale, unravel, inhale, step your feet down, reach your hands up, and forward fold, exhale. 
halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to your plank. Core strong. All right, so again, same option. You're either lowering one at a time to the ground or you're lowering both elbows at the same time. Bend your elbows back for three, two, down to the ground, one. Shift forward, we come back up to our hands for three, two, hopefully at the same time, one. Lower down elbows for three, two, one. Press up to hands for three, two, one, one more. Lower down, three, two, one. Press up to hands, three, two, one. Nice, you guys. Drop your elbows to the ground, dolphin, pike your hips up, walk your feet in a little bit. Left leg lifts, <laughs> inhale. Open up your hip, bend your knee to the sky. Push your hips up and back, press the floor away from you with your forearms. Take an inhale. Exhale, bring your left knee to nose, curl forward. Three-legged dolphin, inhale. See if your knee can tap your right armpit. Exhale, tuck it underneath you. Three-legged dolphin, inhale. Knee to your left shoulder. Exhale, push up to your hands. Step on the outside of your left hand. Right leg super strong, right quadricep engaged. Pull your left hip back. Left hand behind the ankle. Hips stay high, don't let them droop. Drop your shoulder underneath your left thigh. Hands go wider than your mat. Pop your elbows up. Push your left shoulder forward while pulling the left thigh back. Option one. Option two, left arm behind the back. Option three, right arm behind the back. That's option four, actually. <laughs> Stay pushing forward. Option one was hands are staying on the ground, on the inside of the leg. Breathe. Take one more breath, inhale. Either hands down for support or not. Exhale, side lunge. Bend your right knee, shift to the back of the mat, flex your left toes high. Right arm comes to the inner edge of your right thigh. Left arm opens to the ceiling, inhale. Lean your chest open and back, squeeze your glutes. I'm not telling you to do that just to make it harder. I'm telling you to do that to protect your joints. So please keep the glutes engaged, the thighs rolling open. Take one more inhale. Exhale, goddess. Walk your hands to the center of the mat. This one's gonna be a little different, so don't lift up straight away. Bend both knees wide. This is going to be a really weird view from behind. Send your seat down. Your knees stay wide. And then extend your arms in the opposite direction. Spider your fingertips. Your palms are lifted. And if you can think about this almost like a down dog, sink your chest in between your arms like someone's pulling your hips back and extending your arms in the opposite direction. Knees stay off your rib cage. Keep them open wide. Take one more breath. Inhale. Exhale, walk your hands in, come up to full goddess, arms to the sky. Cactus your arms open. Come to the balls of your feet. Settle a little deeper into the legs. Take one more breath, inhale. Exhale, drop your heels down, straighten your arms, straighten your legs. Warrior two. Left toes to the front of the mat, right foot parallel to the short edge of the mat. Settle deeply and then shift to the ball of your left foot. Keep your left knee rocking to the left. Drop your heel. Exalted warrior, left palm to the sky. Lean it to the back of your mat. Take one more inhale. Exhale, half moon. Left hand in front of that left foot. Lift your right leg up nice and slow. It may be touch or go, and that's okay if it stays a little bit grounded. Just do your best. Chest open, right hip rolling open, pushing, flexing the right hip back. Right arm can reach the sky, gaze can stay down, gaze can turn up. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, hands down, bend your knees in towards your nose, contract and curl. Stabilize your left foot, right knee to chest, hands to the sky, stand up, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, Eagle Garuda. Right thigh on top of that left leg. You're sitting cross-legged in a chair nice and easy, right? <laughs> Send your seat down. Right arm underneath your left arm. Eagle your arms. Oh, well, modification for that is to hold our shoulders as well instead. It's a beautiful place for our shoulders to be. 
either double wrapped right foot or grounding your toes down. I'll be here for one more breath, sink a little lower. And unravel, plant your feet, reach your hands to the sky, inhale, tassa, mountain pose, exhale. Full breath in, exhale out the mouth. Feel your feet together. Reach your hands to the sky for an inhale. Exhale, reach your hands forward and start to fall towards the ground. Now, if your hands don't quite touch the ground yet, that's okay, because you're gonna keep your feet together, bend your knees wide, and just drop your butt down towards the ground. We're gonna try to keep our feet flat, but for most of us, our heels will lift, and that's okay. Just keep thinking about pushing them towards the ground. There we go. All right. Palms are in the way. <laughs> Reach forward. Round your body. So tuck your chin in towards your chest. Tuck your tailbone underneath you. And then squeeze your thighs against your rib cage. Let everything round in. Now you can keep your arms forward. Or you can reach them actually back. Palms up to the sky. Or you can hold onto your ankles. Nice round ball here. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Settle the weight of your hips towards the ground. Knees bent to the sky, walk your feet out a little bit. Readjust a bit more onto the mat. Hands back behind you. There's two options here. Either you're going to keep your knees bent at all times, or you're going to be straightening your legs. For this one today, let's try to get our hands nice and close to the hips. If your legs are straight, it's a little more intense. You're really working that extension in the legs, pointing your feet, trying to push your feet flat onto the ground in a reverse plank or a reverse tabletop, which feet are flat, knees are bent. I'm gonna do the reverse plank with you guys today. I'm feeling that coffee. <laughs> with an inhale, lengthen those legs, lift your hips up, lean your chest back, squeeze your glutes. Straight line, lift those hips up, push your feet on the ground, take an inhale. With an exhale, flex your feet, pull your hips back. You're gonna walk your feet back a little bit, lift your butt up. Hold here for three, for two, for one. My friends who have those straight legs plank, lift back up to that straight leg plank, walk your feet forward with an inhale. Glutes engage, push your pelvis up. One more inhale. Exhale, bum comes to hover above the ground, walk your feet in a little bit. It's the same option for that reverse tabletop. You're sliding your butt back, keeping it elevated for three, two. Lower your hips down, one, roll your wrists down. We're ready to cool it down. Right in the sunshine, it gets super hot. <laughs> Bend your knees wide, bring your feet together. I'll leave you again with that option of either feet a little bit further away from you or hugging those legs in nice and tight. They're quite different sensations in the hips. So just see what your body needs here today. Lengthen forward with an inhale and exhale, fold. And start to really slow that breath down. Two more. One more. And lift your torso all the way up with an inhale. Sit your weight into your right hip with an exhale. Deer pose or pigeon pose if you're really craving it. Your right knee is going to come to match the top corner of your mat. Left shin slides back. So think 90 degree angles in both of your legs. Right shin parallel to the short top edge of your mat. Left shin parallel to the long edge of your mat. Lean forward over top of that right leg. And with an exhale, you're going to start to reach forward. Come close to that right leg any amount. If you want to get a little deeper, you can bring your elbows to the ground or you can walk your hands over towards your right foot. And then think about your chest folding on top of your right foot. Strong flex in the ankles. Again, if you prefer pigeon pose, feel free to take it. Two more breaths. all the way up with an inhale. 
Simply extend your left leg to the top left corner of your mat. Open your right knee nice and wide. Left hand will slide down the inner edge of your left leg. Right bicep will sweep the side of the right ear. Reach your hand towards your left foot. And then instead of curling in, so instead of the chest collapsing, keep your chest open. Breathe into that right side of the waist and imagine someone sitting on that right thigh. If you have a kid or something, get them to sit on that right thigh. It feels so good to stretch and open up that right side of the waist. One more breath. Come all the way up with an inhale. Turn to face the front of your mat. Two options with your left leg, either fully extended or bending your left knee, tucking the foot in. Right foot comes to your left elbow crease. Right arm is going to wrap around the other edge of the leg and you interlace your hands. This one was requested. <laughs> like you're cradling a baby. Let your leg hang out. You're not going to feel like anything's happening. So try to lift your right foot up and then you notice my shoulder will pull forward. So then pull your shoulder back. So it's like you're sit seated with the best posture in the world, chest open, both shoulders back. In this place, you can give it a little rock. Anyone who has like a compass pose in your practice, you're more than welcome to take a few moments, transition into that hip opener. Otherwise, we're just gonna hang out here today. Give it that nice, beautiful rock. Keep thinking about right foot up and then pulling the left shoulder back. You should feel that on the right outer edge of your glute and hip. And release that leg. Let it shake out a little bit. We do everything on the other side. So we bring our left knee to a bend, right knee opens towards the right, deer pose to start. Flex into the feet, 90 degree angles in the legs, lean over top of the left leg. Again, stay here, walk to your elbows if you'd like or walk to that left foot, flex your ankle, and then fold your chest towards the foot. Take a few more breaths. You know, with all these stretches, feel free to stay longer than what I'm giving you. If you have that time to take those stretches that feel super good, then why not? If you're moving at my pace, we'll come up to our seat. We'll lean to the left, extend your right foot to the right corner of your mat. Open your left leg, so think really wide with the hips. Right arm down the inner edge of that right leg. Left bicep sweeps beside the left ear. Big side stretch. Chest open. It's almost like you're trying to turn yourself to face the ceiling. And then left hip, left thigh, heavy and grounded. One more breath. And you lift it all the way up with an inhale. Again, stay if you want to stay longer. Extending your right leg forward or tucking your right knee in. Hold on to the left foot, lean back so you can lift the leg. Bring the left foot to your right elbow hook or crease. Left arm wraps around the other edge. Interlace your hands. Again, just notice these little adjustments here. Automatically, you're probably gonna be facing the left a little bit. Try to face directly forward. Lift your foot up to your shoulder height to the best of your ability. You might not get there and that's okay. Pull your right shoulder blade back and give it a little rock there. Think about getting your shin to match your collarbone here. So, probably not gonna get there unless you have really long thighs, but I um, wanna visualize that, finding that lift in your shin. And really watch out for that posture. Try not to tuck and curl everything back. Lift up nice and high. 
two more breaths. One more inhale. Release that leg. Exhale, bend your knees. Reach forward, lie all the way back down. All right. Option one is to come to a bridge pose, which I'm going to do. Otherwise, option two, if you're feeling super fiery still, is to come to wheel if that's something you like to do. So come into bridge with me. Hands are just about touching your heels. With an inhale, roll your hips up to the sky. Lift up through the chest. Lock your shoulders underneath you. Option to interlace your hands and press your arms in the ground. If your shoulders are really tight, holding the mat and like you're trying to rip the mat apart can be a really nice alternative. So this is quite a different bridge than what we do in our gym work, right? If you're trying to work the glutes and hip thrusts or anything like that, you're simply focusing on the glutes and hamstrings. But in yoga, we want to find that lift in our chest and find as much openness through the front side of the body as we can. So the entirety of the back body is working here with you. Think about your chest lifting up to your chin. And breathe there. Two more breaths. One more inhale. Release your arms if you are in bridge. Otherwise, tuck your chin in your chest if you're in wheel and exhale. Slowly roll down one vertebra at a time. Let your pelvis ground. And then rock your knees side to side. Last posture we'll be taking today is happy baby. So when you're ready, draw your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze here. Arms on the inner edges of your thighs, your hands either holding outer edges of your feet, maybe your ankles, maybe your big toes. And then stack your feet on top of your knees. Bend your knees wide. Push your feet into your hands as you pull your hands down against your feet so that your hips and your shoulders become more grounded. A little rock side to side can feel nice. Or staying still and steady. Whenever you're ready to settle into your Shavasana corpse pose. If you feel like your body's craving any other movements, take some time, move through those. When you're ready, make your way to your final resting pose, whether that's a meditation today or Shavasana. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. Be here for as long as you need to be here. 